Ishira Volume 1 Review. In the 2001 edition of this light novel is amazing guidebook. New series Ishira made a name for itself in the top Tankobon novel and new title categories, with the most votes recorded in its history. Since the series has been made its way to the West thanks to Young Press, and I'm here to find out if it lights up to all the hype. The series is set in a fantasy world where the Demon King is dead, and powerful fighters from a variety of races are hoping to become the next true hero, someone who will prove themselves capable of protecting the world from harm. Fifteen candidates are enrolled in a tournament-style death game, each hoping to come out on top and kill off a few of their fellow challengers in the way. Usually, I will write two or three paragraphs underneath the plot, especially for the volume one, like this, but by and large. What I said above is all there is to this one. This 400 page book is split into two halves, one which has a chapter dedicated to introducing each of the characters and giving them a backstory and one which then starts slowly bringing them together. Each character comes from a different race, including skeletons, wyverns, dragons, and just for good measure, a couple of humans, Esekai from Japan. They are humans native to this world too, so the distinction is more important. They all have unique skills and powers at their disposal, which can vary from being the interesting to superpower like in the case of Kia the Elf, who can control anything with words. The second half of the book revolves around a war between the city of Yoretia, which is home to humans known as Mitia, and the city of Litia, which is logic home to the Wyverns, and a ruler who was declared themselves the new demon lord. Because of where each character starts, not all 15 are involved heavily, or at all, in this story which works to its benefit since at this point it's already very difficult to keep the tracks of who's who. I wish author Keiso had taken their time introducing the characters rather than giving us 10 straight chapters of it. This approach makes it very difficult to stay engaged with the story because there's no single party goddess and no familiarity to help the reader stay grounded. With the number of names and fantasy jargon thrown around, you won't come out of this having remembered half of the important stuff Keiso hopes you will. The series was originally a web novel and it was a wager. The problems I'm having here with the finished product would not be an issue there when you're reading a chapter a day, week, or similar. It certainly hasn't transitioned well. It's such a shame that this series gets off on the wrong foot because the second half shows that Keisu has a good idea here. Battle scenes are easy to follow and the characters are distinct enough that every in the middle of the fight it's easy to picture who's here and doing what. Despite the intimidating page count, it's not that bad in terms of the world count here page. And beyond the fantasy terms, it's not difficult vocabulary to scheme drawn quickly. If the second half has been the starting point rather than the deadliest content we get, I imagine I have come away from having enjoyed it a lot more. Frustrated because there's something good here at Keiso will hopefully capitalize on going forward, but the series won the top rankings and the dislike novel is amazing. It already had a couple of volumes available, so it was likely the audience was fond of it for the later installments and not just based on this one. This at least gives me some confidence that will improve and I don't own volume 2 already, so I'm sure I get to that fight out soon. Ishira comes to the West thanks to Yen Press and be translated by DV Musto. The translation reads with no issues to note, this release includes color pages and illustrated by Coretta and depicts them but not all of the large cast. The black and white illustrations drawn in the book captures more of the characters and also focuses on some of the action scenes. but. By and large, there is a really lack of images compared to the page count, which is a shame. The series is on Go with Japan with 5 volumes, but the English Yen Press has released volume 2 already, with number 3 scheduled for March 21st. Outro, there doesn't appear to be any schedule beyond that, so I suspect it will be taking a bit of a break. Overall, as Ishura gets off to a frustrating start, as there are good ideas here, but I imagine most readers will be put off by reading 200 pages and introduction before they even get there. If you don't stick with it, I was surprised if it didn't prove a rewarding read, but that's certainly not an easy ask for a series with book thick, books this thick. I possibly avoid if you're not convinced by the premise. 5 out of 10.